New this morning, the Tulsa art scene about to kick it up a notch with the help of an artist's creative fund. It's a story we first brought to you when applications opened to Tulsa-based artists looking to make a lasting impact on the city through their work. And this morning, we have a sneak peek at the chosen artists and what we can expect to see. Tulsa's cultural landscape is changing. Arts are everywhere, and so it's a part of life. It adds the energy and the culture to the city. The George Kaiser Family Foundation, in partnership with the Creative Arkansas Community Hub and Exchange, or CASH, is in its first year granting 20 Tulsa-based artists $10,000 each through the Artists Creative Fund. The application process was competitive with over 140 applicants. With this funding, it gives artists that support for time, space to create new work or to complete work that they've already um, had in progress. And so this funding gives that boost to the artist to be able to do that. Chosen projects include a neon series that pays homage to black travelers on Route 66, essays by Oklahoma activists, and even a documentary film on the legendary Kane's Ballroom. This is Tate Wittenberg. A filmmaker and Kane's ballroom historian, if you will. These are from Kane's, but from Bob Will's birthday bash. His latest project, a film documenting 100 years of the famous music venue. It's been about 14 years that I've been working on this project now. Uh, it's been a real labor of love. Tate's been awarded a few grants in the past, but says being awarded through the Artists Creative Fund will push him closer to the finish line. Once we put this film out and it goes around the world, uh, I think it'll it'll uh, help out with um, bringing people to Tulsa. From interviewing some of the most iconic musicians to date, like Leon Russell and Roy Clark, the film will give audience members a taste of Tulsa. And to help out, the grant even provides artists like Tate a mentor to guide the project in the right direction. Next year will be the 100th anniversary of Kane's Ballroom, so no better time to get this film out than, than then. It's a deadline that feels good to be in sight with the help of a fund looking to give artists and creatives the tools to succeed. Well, the projects will be presented in Tulsa by their creators through March. Also, the grant will be open to artists again next year. That date, though, is to be determined. So if you want to stay connected, you can visit our website, kgrh.com.